everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a DIY room decor video and I'm going to be showing you guys four different DIYs that you can do to decorate your room or your office or your home, wherever you want to put these things. And they are super cute and super easy to make. Trust me, if I can make them, you guys can make them. They look amazing and they even look like more expensive than they really are. So if you guys are interested in seeing how to create these DIYs, just stay tuned. The first DIY is this to-do frame and it's super easy to make and it's very helpful. So all you need is an empty frame, some scrapbook paper, and some dry erase markers. So what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and take your frame apart, just taking out the back. What you have to do is just lift these little um, tabs here and then just pull it out. So you've done that, what you wanna do is go ahead and get your scrapbook paper. And you're gonna to wanna to measure out just how wide the actual back of the frame is and that way you can cut out your scrapbook paper to be that same width and length. Easiest thing to do is just to grab a pencil and just go ahead and trace out the back of that frame on the scrapbook paper. That way you know just how much you need to cut off. And all you have to do now is just grab your scissors and just start cutting away. All right, and the next thing you want to do is go ahead and grab your frame and then just go ahead and insert your scrapbook paper inwards and you can just put it face down on the actual glass and then go ahead and put on the back of the frame and that will be everything for the actual frame. And I would suggest using a scrapbook paper, like a pattern that's not too busy. That way your writing is still pretty legible. And then all you have to do is grab your dry erase markers and start writing your to-do list. Um, I like using these type of dry erase markers because they already include a little eraser on the back. And I actually got these at the dollar store. So they are super cheap and you get like three in a pack. The next DIY are these cute mason jars and they are, oh my gosh, so adorable. All you need is two different mason jars and some toy animals. And what you have to do is just go ahead and spray paint them any color you want. I like gold. And then just let those dry for a little while. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and stick them on your lid. But first what I like to do is glue the top of the lid to the ring. And I'm going to use my same glue to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and line my lid with a little bit of glue. Don't put too much or else it'll like squish out. Um, but just, you know, around the lid and then I'm going to glue it to the actual ring. And this is some E600 glue, which works awesome. I honestly feel it like it's hot glue, you know, in a tube since it's so good. Um, so that's what I'm going to do here. And once that is done, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing my little animals on the lid. So what I like doing is just putting like a little dot of glue on each of the legs. And from there, I'm just going to go ahead and press it down on the actual lid, making sure that it doesn't really move around too much. And honestly, this glue is very fast drying. So you could just leave it on for a couple minutes and it'll be just fine. Um, and I picked a little elephant and a little giraffe because I thought these were cute. And once they're dry, you can go ahead and start filling them with your, some of your favorite things. I like filling one in with some washi tape for my planner and then just some paper clips. And these mason jars make for some fun, useful little storage and they look really cute on your desk too. The third DIY are these clipboard frames. They look super cute. And all you need are some clipboards from Walmart and then some cardstock little sayings. And these you can find a couple different places. Um, so what you want to do is go ahead and spray paint your clipboards gold. And I love spray painting everything gold just because I think it looks better. Um, so I just spray painted them and then just waited a little while till them till they were dry. And then these little cardstock little quotes, I got them at Marshalls for $5.99. They were super inexpensive 
So I'll link, link some places where you can get some little posts. And also, you can also make them yourself if you wanted to. You literally, you can clipboard whatever you'd like. Um, but I like these. And what I do is just go ahead and grab it and just clipboard it to the, to the little clipboard. And that is really it. Um, I love just how nice it looks like the gold contrast with the color um, so this is what I'm doing here I just picked some of my favorites the last step is just to go ahead and put them up wherever you'd like I have this little gallery wall going on right now in my office so I just measured where I wanted to put it grabbed a little nail and then hammered it and then from there you know just be creative and place them anywhere they can go on your walls um, or on a shelf or wherever you'd like. So the last DIY is this marble tray and I love it. It's actually my favorite just because it looks really pretty and it looks more expensive than it really is. All you're going to need are some drawer handles, some end caps, and some E600 glue. I got all these things at Home Depot and all you have to do is spray paint them whatever color you'd like. I chose this bronze color because I think it looks really good with the marble. And you will need to let these dry for a while and then also do the other side so I all, did all this like the day before and then the next morning they were all dry so once everything is dry you're gonna want to grab your marble tile and then go ahead and just kind of look at where you want to place those end caps I like doing it a little bit towards the center not so much in the corner um, that way you have good support Once they're all dry, then what you're going to do is go ahead and flip it over. And then from here, you're just going to go ahead and decide where you want to put your handles. I like doing them just kind of towards the center a little bit, but not so much. And you have to make sure you align them right so you have them both at the same height. Um, and then all you have to do is just apply some glue to the bottom of each of the handles and then just place it down. And I love this DIY because you can really use it to display your perfumes, your jewelry, or whatever you'd like. And I think it would look really cute in your bathroom, or in your room, or in your office. Alright guys, so that was it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it down below. If you guys try any of these DIYs, let me know. You can tweet me a picture on my Twitter, or you can tag me on Instagram, or you can leave me a comment down below. They are like super cute. I love them. Um, also remember that you can follow me on all my social media sites, which will be listed down below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more DIY videos. And also, don't forget to subscribe so you're notified when I post a new video. And I'm posting every single week. I hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget that you guys are all beautifully and wonderfully made. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.